Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch and learn. Your teacher is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are informed to lesson seven. Topic is soil fertility, two, it deals with inorganic fertilizer. And the subtopic is soil sampling. On to the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, define the term soil sampling, B, soil testing. And number two, state any two methods used uh, during soil sampling. Uh, soil sampling, by definition, soil sampling. This is a, a, a process through which the soil is taken in the field in different uh, point or station and then mixed to act as a representative sample of that particular field. And what is soil testing? Soil testing, after soil sampling is done, the soil is taken to the lab where the soil chemical properties and physical properties are determined in order to determine the potential of the soil uh, to add toward agricultural production. Then we have examples of soil uh, sampling. We have two main, but also you can have a uh, third one. Uh, we have the first one is the traverse method or the diagonal method. You normally take the soil in diagonal uh, style. Then we have the second one, we have zigzag method as it is well illustrated on the diagram. And therefore we have several uh, points or station where the soil should be uh, taken from. Then the third method, we have the soil sampling uh, using the W-shaped path, and this is actually the most convenient method. Uh, then we have precaution. What are the precautions that should be considered whenever we are collect collecting soil uh, from uh, the field? You should avoid collecting the soils from the following region. And the reason is why uh, these, so these regions contain uh, highly fertile soils and therefore they can give a misleading information of the soil fertility of the entire field. The first place where you should not collect the soil, we have uh, in the furrow areas, we have um, terraces, then number three, old fence line, especially uh, life fence, uh, because we have those materials that, uh, uh, those leaves that normally fall, and after decomposing, meaning that they will add a lot of nutrients to the soil around that region where they uh, fall. Then old manure heap or sites, uh, then finally uh, at the boundaries because there is a lot of nutrients especially at the boundaries and therefore it will give a false information regarding to the soil fertility of a given uh, field. Then there are several operators that we normally use uh, in the course of soil sampling. The first one you have a bucket where you will put the soil. Uh, then the second one you can use the uh, a panga. A panga is used for uh, clearing the vegetation and also the lake uh, also helps in uh, the work of clearing the vegetation or correcting the trash which are normally cut down by the use of a panga. Then f uh, you can use a soil auger for cutting the vertical uh, section uh, so that you can obtain the soil from the ground. Then we have the procedures. Uh, the procedures for soil sampling include number one, you scrap uh, the litter from the surface of the soil. That is land clearing, should be done. Then the second one, uh, uh, then a di dig a V-shaped cut into the, into the required depth. That is approximate 20, 15 to uh, 20 centimeters. You can use the soil auger or you can use a garden uh, trowel. Then uh, cut a thin slice, one inch from one side of the hole, then the other one collect the soil and put it into the, a clean bucket. Then you repeat the procedure uh, by collecting at least soil from 10 samples uh, or from t uh, 10 areas uh, within the field using a, either of the method which I highlighted before. Then after doing that, 
uh, you are supposed to mix the soil from the, the 10 uh, stations thoroughly. Then after mixing the soil, you pack the soil into a polythene paper. Then you write the parcel number, that is the land number, uh, the address of the, uh, the, the, the farmer is also indicated, and therefore the soil is ready to be sent to the laboratory for soil uh, testing. Uh, then we have uh, come to the end of today's lesson, and the following uh, questions, you are supposed to uh, do them as an assignment. Number one, explain the various method of soil sampling. And number two, highlight the procedure of soil sampling. And for reference, you can refer from Secondary Agriculture Student Book 2, uh, that is Form 2, and the literature, that, that is the publisher, we have the Kenya Literature Bureau. Then for more information regarding to uh, today's lesson, you can reach us through the following contacts. The first one, uh, you can use an SMS using that number. Then you can use the YouTube, Elim TV, then Facebook uh, platform, you can use the Elim TV, and finally you can use the Twitter at Elimu underscore K -E -K -E. Thank you for joining me in my lesson, and I hope you will be uh, very ready to, for the next lesson. Till then, bye.